Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Since Angular version 2, the first contact has always been the Heroes tutorial. It took you through a simple application where you learned the basic elements and how it all fits together. That is going to change. We now have an official Angular course on YouTube. Mark Thompson guides us through eight episodes where we end up with an application to find housing. Except for signals, all the new stuff is included. Standalone components, the inject function, etc. The real surprise though was that the native fetch method instead the HTTP client was used for the communication with the backend. Another notable development was the integration of signals into NGRX, a popular state management library. Just one week after Angular 16 was released, NGRX 16 followed suit. The library store service provides now a select signal function which returns a readable signal. This new feature applies to both the global and the component store. Additionally, an RFC was released proposing a third NGRX library with the name NGRX Signal Store. In a recent episode of the Angular Masters podcast, Igor Minar, who served as the Angular lead until the end of 2021, shared his insights about the early days of Angular the joys and the challenges. He discussed various topics, including the reception of the TypeScript support and difficulties faced during the transformation from Angular 1 to 2. Furthermore, there have been new minor releases, such as Cypress, a testing framework, which went up to 12.12. .12. That's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.